Hey, this is Joe the Tech Guy. This video is to explain how to set up SWE FTP on your Android phone. This basically gives you the ability to access files from your phone without your USB cable. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright, let's get started. First off, you're going to go and under your app drawer, you're going to go to Play Store. We're going to be downloading a program. You go and hit the little magnifying glass to search for the program. Type in SWIFTP. While you're doing all this, please go ahead and look in the description below for the link to my channel. I'm going to be posting all types of things such as iPod hacks, anything, JTAG, Xbox, all kinds of tech stuff. So just go ahead and subscribe. Those videos will be up within the end of this month. All right, once you've hit accept and apply, it's going to start downloading. And we're going to put this app on our home page. And once we have put the app on our home page, we're going to go ahead and open it up. This does take just a moment for everything to hurry on along. Go under your app drawer, press on that, and put it on your home page. You all know how to do that by now. Open it up. All right, here we're going to use, just in this demonstration, test as the username TEST. -E your password, I'm just going to use 1234. All right. And then you're going to come down to where it says save and hit save. And later on, I'm going to upload another video showing you how you can do this over the internet so you can actually access your phone uh, FTP over the internet. And you're going to go ahead and start this. Now, you will, if you're connected to your computer, by USB you will need to unmount your SD card. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to computer and then right click again on computer go to add a network location now you want to hit next again you're going to hit next and here you will be entering in your FTP address. You can find this FTP address under the application SWIFTP. Once you open it up and hit start you will see this address. This is the address that you need to enter and you also need to put the port 2120 behind it just like I have. The only thing that will be different is the FTP and then the 192 address. Here you're going to put the username test hit next again you're going to hit next and you want to hit finish here now this will pop up a box that's going to ask you for your username and your password again that will be test is what we set it to t-e-s-t -E and then the password we set to one two three four and log in once you've logged in you now have access to the root of your phone also here you see that I have both of my SD card files which is SD and SDEXT. I have two different SD cards for my phone. Again I will be leaving a description. Um, I will be leaving more information in the description below.